my predecessor, you know, obviously we've had conversations about who would lead her at some point. And, um, and we knew that we always wanted to support women because there just simply aren't enough women, um, you know, to that represent us in government. And it's not to take away for the men because we have, you know, fantastic men that are, you know, um, totally equipped to, to uh, do the, the same work. Um, but if we don't really try to be a little bit more purposeful, then we kind of, you know, ne neglect um, the, uh, the, the possibility of bringing in more women. And so she says to me when she's two years before she ended her term, she says, you know, I would like to have dinner with you. And I said, well, um, what are we discussing? And she says, well, you know, just come. And so I got to dinner and she says, well, what do you think about running for public office? And I said, well, I, I don't think about running for public office. And she says, well, <laughs> you should think about running for public office. You know, I'm leaving in two years and I would really, you know, I, I think that you would make a wonderful council member. I think, you know, that you have all of the attributes that we would look for, right? You're caring and you love the community and you come from a, a you know, a humble, uh, you know, place. And I, I can trust all of these projects that I have worked so hard on. And I know that, you know, you will carry them through. Um, and I said, are you crazy? I have no political experience. Again, let me remind you, all, I have no political experience. I know nobody that's political other than the people that I have met through this work in this office. When I get home, my family has no idea what I do all day. They don't care. They don't want to talk about it. And so I, I just really was really scared of the idea of doing that because um, I just didn't see myself in that role. Um, not because I, I'm, I didn't feel myself qualified. Well, in a way, yeah, I think there was a little bit of that. But the, um, the idea, the picture, right, that we put out um, or that's put out publicly of what an elected official looks like, sounds like, um, behaves is very different than what I see in the mirror when I look at myself. And so it took a little bit of nudging for me to see that there is a need for people like me with those lived experiences to also be represented at the table when decisions are being made about us. And so that's why I decided to run for city council. 